In its second week of release, Alex Garland's Civil War continued to dominate the box office, maintaining its position as the top film in theaters. The dystopian American thriller, produced by A24, brought in $11.1 million in ticket sales over the weekend, solidifying its total gross at $44.9 million in just two weeks. The film, set in a near-future United States where Texas and California rebel against a fascist president, has captivated audiences with its provocative premise and striking marketing campaign showcasing war-torn U.S. cities. Despite Civil War holding strong at the box office, the overall weekend was lackluster, raising concerns about the ongoing downturn in Hollywood's ticket sales. Year-to-date, box office revenues have dropped nearly 20% compared to the previous year, according to industry reports. Universal Pictures' Abigail, a critically acclaimed R-rated horror film reimagining Dracula's Daughter, secured the second spot with $10.2 million in sales. Directed by Matt bedinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillett, the film tells the story of a young girl kidnapped by unsuspecting captors. While Abigail performed decently for its $28 million budget, the weekend saw a tepid response to several new wide releases, hinting at more challenging times ahead for the film industry in 2024. Guy Ritchie's The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare made its debut with $9 million, showcasing Henry Cavill in a World War II mission off the coast of West Africa. Despite Ritchie's track record of box office successes, recent films like Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre, and The Covenant struggled to recoup their production costs. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare received positive audience feedback with an A- cinema score, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the weekend's lackluster performance. Sony's Crunchyroll adaptation, Spy X Family Code, White Face Challenges Connecting with Viewers, earning $4.9 million in U.S. theaters, below initial expectations. On the global stage, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, continued its reign as the top-grossing film, adding $9.5 million domestically and $21.6 million internationally, bringing its total global earnings to $485.2 million after four weeks. Civil War led the weekend box office with Abigail following closely behind, underscoring the ongoing struggle of the film industry to attract audiences amidst a challenging year for cinema. The final domestic box office figures for the weekend will be released on Monday, providing further insights into the state of the industry.